Welcome back to the Graham Miller Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson men's soccer head coach Graham Miller. Coach, a 1-1 week last week. Get that one nothing overtime victory versus Hood. Tariq Lee gets his second straight overtime winner. Um, first victory over Hood since 2013. And then Jake Brown, he had two good performances this week, but 13 saves in that game to get Player of the Week honors. Yeah, it was uh, you know it was it was good to keep the momentum going after the win over Widener in overtime. You know that was a that was a win that we needed to, uh, to get back in the conference playoff mix. Um, so to go to Hood on a on a wet night and a uh, great Scottish night, as I said to the guys, and you know to to go there and and you know beat a team that beat us four nothing last year here at home. Um, you know, it was a great, and, and like you said, hadn't, hadn't, you know, beat Hood since uh, 2013. It was, a, it was a big positive and a, a step in the right direction for this program. It's, it, Hood's a t- very talented team, and, um, you know, our guys just work so hard, and obviously Jake, um, you know, we, we gave him the opportunity because him and Bobby have been battling out, and, and Jake came through for us in that game, and, um, you know, we, we held them at bay, and then, you know, Tarek did it again. You know, we just keep saying we would like him to score within the 90 minutes, but um, we'll take an overtime winner any day, so it was a, it was a great performance on the road yeah and then you guys went to Arcadia fall one nothing there um a, a tough battle there talk about that that game yeah the Arcadia game we knew was going to be another tough one the same thing you know the guys that lost them last year 4-1 um they're always in the playoff mix so we knew it was going to be a tough you know tough road trip uh you know we started off a little slow but the guys really played with a lot of heart a lot of fight and and we had some chances um you know, we had a great chance in the first half. We should have put away. Um, we, we thought we had a clear penalty call. Um, a foul on Tarek in the second half, um, you know, that we could have had and that we could have changed the game as well. So, you know, missing those opportunities um, not to get a goal. And then obviously the game turned on, um, you know, some really poor officiating. And, you know, I, I, I've, I've talked to a lot of people about this. And, you know, in my 11 years in college coaching, I, I still don't know really what happened with the, the red card on uh, one of our players. And, and it really was a, a, a poor decision from the officials even looking at the video afterwards and and you know so you know we just didn't recover from that and obviously lost the goal a few minutes later and it's just tough playing with 10 men um, but the guys didn't give up you know we could have crumbled and lost three or four nothing in the last 15 minutes the guys put a lot of fight fight in we had Arcadia on their heels and just disappointing a referee's decision kind of you know help that outcome of the game for Arcadia but you know it's not something we're going to dwell on. Yeah, despite the loss, you guys have some momentum going into this week. You have two home games this week, Lebanon Valley and Lycoming. You guys are still in the playoff mix, and you have to face two teams that are, you know, one's already clinched and another one sitting in third place. But how do you treat these two games going into this week? Well, that's it. You know, we like I said, we can't dwell on it. We put ourselves in a position being two and two that we're, you know, lying in a position that if we win tonight, we can be tied for third. And, you know, that's 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 down to the hard work by the guys. So we've, you know, we've let Saturday go. And uh, we know we've got two huge games this week against two teams that have been very good and very good records. And like you said, uh, like Homing's already clinched their spot in the playoffs. So, um, you know, they're going to want to be number one seed. And, and you know, I think, uh, they, I think they play Messiah tonight. So, um, you know, there's going to be some big games this week. Every game is important. You know, we need to we need to start positive tonight against Lebanon Valley, and it would be huge for our program if we can and take that next step and, and put the extra work in to beat Lev Val tonight, and and uh, you know then look forward to another you know our homecoming uh, senior game on Friday against Lycoming. Well, coach, we wish you the best of luck tonight versus Lebanon Valley, and then again on Friday night. We'll see you back here next week. Thank you very much. For Coach Graham Miller, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been The Graham Miller Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings.